I'd like to remind you, October 29th is homecoming here at New Mexico State University, and your Aggies will take on the Nevada Wolfpack. The game will also have a special Halloween theme as kids are encouraged to come to the game in costume for trick-or-treating in and around the stadium prior to the 6 o'clock kickoff. Visit Ticketmaster.com or call 646-1420 for information and tickets. The band playing very jubilantly here at Aggie Memorial Stadium. 31 to 24, the Aggies finally win at home, thank goodness. And we've got uh, Coach yep. Walker standing by. And uh, Coach, let me ask you a question. For $13, could you find more entertainment than this football game in Las Cruces? Hey, probably not, especially two nights in a row. You know, that uh, San Jose Hawaii game was awesome. And, you know, we backed it up with a great game tonight. So it's good to see us get another W. Fresh, <laughs> freshman quarterback, pressed into action. You had to be holding your breath. Well, you know, Coach Martin spends a lot of time with this kid, and he swears by him just like we all do, and this kid's a football guy. So at halftime, I got the team together, and, you know, we told the kid that we're going to back him up, and it was nice to see the kid play well and, and our team play well. Coach, at halftime, you talked about the defense having to really pull through here and help you out. They did that. Could you comment on what a great job they did? Yeah, I'm so happy for those guys. You know, we're playing without three defensive linemen. Uh, we're playing without our starting linebacker, and, you know, these guys worked their tail off, and it was great to, to put together a nice scheme and, and see these guys have some success. Coach, you're at 500. Smile a little bit, all right, and enjoy oh, the night. Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you guys, man. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Coach Dwayne Walker, and as always, we appreciate him coming up. We've got some highlights of the game to uh, uh, show you. And, again, it was an entertaining game plus as we went through a whole lot of special team, long runs, great drives. This is Matt Christian getting things started to Kenny Turner, who ends up with over 160 yards rushing, his third straight game with 100 or more. This time it's a drop back pass and a beautiful feed onto the side. Uh, Bateman with the touchdown pass, but uh, they keep coming back. McCarty with a touchdown in the first quarter. This is first quarter highlights, folks. If you and it's still first quarter. Here's the ensuing kickoff. And it's none other than Tavion Rogers. Cuts one way. He's going to come back a little bit to the middle. Picks up a block. Gets by the last man. And it's off to the races. And no one's going to catch Tavion Rogers when he gets the move like that. Matt Christian hurt in the first half, Danny. And we were all kind of holding our breath because with Manley out, it gets a little more intense. And this is Veltung, the great return man, on a punt for... Uh, the Vandals, and he is able to move it upfield and busts it long and runs it in for a touchdown. And we're still not through. This is a pretty key play as Coleman came up with the interception. They were starting to show some signs of life on offense. It was down where he caught it, but uh, it, it still was a big play. And then a beautiful pass. You liked this one, didn't you? I did. He just threaded that thing right in there, right down the chimney. Third touchdown for Bateman. We get a field goal to keep things with a nice lead, but then it came down to the defense. Nice feed. This is Kama Bailey, knocked down at the one yard line, and then all the tension broke. You saw Bailey open, doesn't throw it to him. Nia Makalolo is able to hit Reeder, and I don't know if he was hurt or just disgusted that he had the incomplete pass. Aggies one quarterback sneak and went to kill the clock the rest of the way. The two coaches meet at halftime. So again, an exciting game and we're thrilled to have you with us and be able to bring you such excitement from Aggie Memorial Stadium and hope you'll come out the 29th to see Nevada here because it's fun. Oh, it's ex exciting. You know, the special teams, the lots of big plays. It was a lot of fun tonight. I've got kind of a neat trivia question for you. Both teams next game is against Hawaii. The Vandals have a bye week, and we'll meet them in two weeks. The Yankees go out to the island, and we'll face them then. Here you see the rest of the uh, schedule for the Aggies, and we've got some fun coming our way that we hope you'll join us for as well. And, uh, again, want to remind you that uh, everything going on here around here, that uh, after tonight's game, be sure to log on to nmstatesports.com for uh, video and much, much more of New Mexico State action at nmstatesports.com. Dot com. We got the stats, Danny. I just like the top one. You can talk about the rest. Uh, all right. You know, the, the stats are, the, the big thing is Trayvon came in there and really solidified that offense. And so 191 yard rushing, 202 total are in passing yards, 394 versus 267. 
And the big difference is the turnovers. The I know Vandals had four, we had one. That, the special teams, that's the big difference where we walk away with the victory and we're three and three. One of the guys we highlighted on the uh, uh, very outset of the broadcast was the running back, Kenny Turner. He turned in his third 100 game, yard game plus in uh, rushing today. And boy, what a linchpin he was. As with the freshman quarterback, they relied on Kenny Turner to churn out some yards on the ground, eat up the clock, and make life a little bit easier. And he almost made it a breeze there. You see him rushing down to the two and uh, then hands it off and again, pressing hard, finding the outside. And this was on a third down play that he had to have yards and took it out to the 40. So again, Kenny Turner with the uh, a great job, but the quarterback situation, what do you think the Aggies said? Well, well, Matt, well, that's going to be a big deal, right? So if Matt can't come back, then you end up going back to a freshman quarterback, but Trayvon looked very good, and so hopefully they'll be able to patch Matt together. That's been the problem in the past with Matt getting hurt, but patch him together. If not, Trayvon, he looked awesome. I was we, impressed. We, we've got six days to worry yeah, about that. Right. Our congratulations to Coach Walker and uh, the entire Aggie team for coming up and uh, got that long plane trip to Hawaii now and hope to pick up a win there as well. Our next telecast on Saturday, October 29th, when the Aggie football team takes on Nevada at 6 p.m. Tonight's broadcast is a co-production of the students and staff of New Mexico State University on behalf of all the talented students and our crew, as well as director Joe Brackman, technical coordinator Chris Schnur, and brand new to the crew, producer Lucas Barron. Along with Danny Nee, I'm Glenn Cerny, thanking you for watching once again the final score. Your New Mexico State University Aggies defeat the Idaho Vandals by a score of 31-24. Good night from Las Cruces.